Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that dark utopia mess. Time passed so quickly. But doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean, we're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this at least. <laughs> Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Eh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal, and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthester hullabaloo, neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out, though. Supposedly, all the Synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba. But what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities, feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent, and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us, all of the Night Eaters, myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <laughs> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too, if I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. But since his dark utopia plan failed, doesn't that mean you guys are back to square one? I don't intend to give up on my people. Somewhere out there, I know there's a better way to build a new future. One that will have plenty of room in it for us Night Eaters. Just as you all made room in your hearts for us. Yeah, Sis is right on the money. You guys have been great. Well, it's easy to be great with you two. I can't imagine any reason we wouldn't accept you into our hearts. Thank you all for everything. I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Oh, sis, you know I'm not great with goodbyes. But I'll come visit for the Obon Festival, and for New Year's. We'll see you off here, but he is going to carry your bags to the station for you. You can work him to the bone if you have to. He is your familiar after all. Thank you again, everyone. The days I spent here with you will always be at the forefront of my memories. I promise, I'll never forget any of you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Farewell. <sighs> She's really gone. I wish she would have stayed in Akiba with you, Rin. Well, we can't exactly avoid our home village forever, especially with Big Brother gone. It just wouldn't be right. 
Besides which, Sis is going to be taking his place as chief. Oh, so I guess the future of the Night Eaters really does rest on her shoulders then. I offered to go back with her, but she told me not to. She even decided to leave her minion behind. Talk about self-restraint, right? So, what are your plans now, Rin? Well, I'm staying in Akiba, at least for a little while. That's the official home of the great pop artist Rin, after all. So does that mean I should be the great pop artist Rin's manager? Huh? Why would it? Well, I'm your familiar, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not in a familiar's job description. Besides, if I have any problems or grunt work, I've got him for that. Hmm? I could have sworn I heard a minion mumbling just now. Whatever. Incidentally, Togo, just because you're my familiar doesn't make you a minion. So don't think you have to act like one. Neither of us is the master here, or the servant. In fact, I actually really respect what you did. You threw away your humanity to save this town. That shows some real dedication. <laughs> no. I think I was pretty much running on autopilot. There was so much going on that I just did what I did without thinking. Selflessly trudging onward through the Valley of Thorns, never balking at the pain, just to protect someone who's dear to you. You two have that in common, don't you think? Shush! I'm heaping praise on you, all wrapped up and candy boated. Just take it and be grateful I'm not scolding you again. I... I think you mean candy-coated. Cotty rubbing off on you or something? Uh, never mind. My point is, you don't have to worry about me. It's your life, and wherever it takes you, I'll support you all the way. Though, if I ever do end up needing your power again, I might call on you as my familiar to loan me some of that surplus bravery you've got. No problem. Call on me anytime you like. I'll be ready. This is goodbye for now, then. Best wishes. I hope to see you on the road sometime. So, what kind of future do we have, I wonder? <laughs> We're a pretty sorry pair, aren't we? Can't even enjoy a good walk in the sunshine anymore. But I sure don't plan to let that turn me into some otaku shut-in. I keep thinking, maybe I can use this new power I've got to help people, you know? Ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Two childhood friends working together to fight for what's right. And I mean, it's not like we can't do it. We've already saved Akiba once, after all. Be a waste to let it go now. I want this to be a place where everyone can feel happy and free. Always. We'll be like a Righteousness League. Superheroes fighting to protect the happiness of all. <gasps> I... I wasn't prepared for that! When did you turn into such a smooth talker? You never used to bust out lines like that before! You caught me completely off guard, you jerk! But I'm glad you said that, because I know you meant it. So, right back at you, I guess. I'm going to protect your happiness too, forever and always. I'll protect yours, you protect mine. That's only fair, right? So come on, let's get started. We've got a newly freed town to safeguard. And everybody's waiting for us there. Man, you're slow. Do I have to drag you by the arm? <laughs> Holding hands with you like this reminds me of when we were kids. I remember the warmth of your hands so clearly. But it's not just a memory. It's still just as warm. And that warmth will keep us together from now on. Forever. Here in the Akihabara, 
we too have built.